Alright, in this video I want to do another word problem involving perimeter. And in this problem we're going to have a rectangular landing strip for an airplane. So just like a runway uh, that has a perimeter of 8,000 feet. And if we know that the length of the, of the landing strip is 10 feet longer than 35 times the width, we want to be able to find both the length and the width. So again, what I like to do is make a little picture for these. I've already started it here a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to make a little rectangle down here. Okay, so there's our little airstrip that our, our airplane would land on. So again, it, you know, it doesn't really matter how you label things. Um, the algebra will get you the correct answer as long as you set it up correctly. But certainly it sounds like it's longer than it is wide. So um, I'm going to make the long part. I'm just going to call that length L. And it has a width of W. And again, since it's since it's rectangular, we would know that this side is also has a length of W, and we can say generically that this side has a length of L as well. So again, we know that the perimeter, to calculate the perimeter, we just simply add up the distance around the rectangle. So we would add 1W plus 1W, and that would give us 2W. And then we would add 1L and 1L, and that would give us 2L. Well, again, now we have to start kind of dissecting the English and, uh, you know, coming up with a little bit more information. So we know that the perimeter is 8,000 feet. That's given to us. So I can simply plug in the 8,000 on the left side. And now kind of the more, I think, complicated part. We have to somehow incorporate this fact that the length is 10 feet longer than 35 times the width. So we have to create a little equation that, that, that relates that information together. And again, I think this is the part, myself included, where I have to you know, kind of stop and slow down and really think about it. Um, it's definitely not something that you just do on autopilot, I think. Hey, no pun intended. I guess, it, sorry about that. So um, the length, okay, so I think, you know, the length is definitely bigger than the width. So suppose we said that the length equaled 35 times W. So this is not correct yet, but it's, it's close to being correct. And this to me says the length is, I always read an equal sign as the word is, the length is 35 times the width. But that's not quite right because right, it's actually 10 feet longer than that. So now I think, huh, I need to put a plus 10 on one side of this equation to make it correct. And this is where I think a lot of people might make the mistake, again, myself included. The way I think about it is, well, the length is not equal to 35 times the width. It's 35 times the width plus 10. So the length is actually bigger than just, just 35 times the width. The length is still bigger than this number on the right-hand side. So to make everything balance out, I would actually have to add a 10 to the right-hand side. Okay, so again, originally, we know that the length is actually bigger than 35 times the width. So to kind of make the right side of the equation catch up to the left side, I would have to add an extra 10 to that. And again, what you might do is simply play with numbers. You know, make a simple example where the length is, is 10 feet longer than the 35 times the width. Kind of create a couple different little equations, plug your numbers in and see which one's correct. Kind of reason by analogy. That's a great thing to do. Okay, so hopefully, um, so again, you know, think about this. This is the part, again, to me, this is the tricky part. Or at least one of the tricky parts. But once we come up with that, I can now utilize that fact. So we've got 2w plus well, 2 times L, but L is the same thing as 35W plus 10. And now this is going to give us a nice little linear equation that we can solve. So again, I think probably getting to this part, that's, that's to me that's the hard part, definitely the hardest part. I don't think this type of linear equation should be anything too terribly tricky. Okay, so we've got 2w, he's just hanging out. I've got to distribute my 2 to the 35w into the positive 10. So I think, well, 2 times 35 would give me 70, but then we have to tack on the w. 2 times positive 10 is going to give us positive 20. 
And now it's simply a matter of collecting like terms and you know just doing the arithmetic. So on the right side we have 2w plus 70w, that'll give us 72w plus 20. And again, I'm trying to solve for w, the width. So I'm going to simply subtract 20 from both sides. That way I'll have my the term involving w all by itself. So 8,000 minus 20 would be 7980 equals 72w. And again, to solve for w, we'll simply divide both sides by 72 by 72. And it says the width is going to be roughly equal to, I've totally just made these numbers up off the top of my head, so I can't imagine they're going to work out too nicely. Um, so 7980 divided by 72, oh, I'm getting that to be 110.83 repeating. So that would actually be it exactly. And maybe we'll just simply round that off to, I don't know, how about 110 and 83. Okay, so it says the width is approximately 110.83 feet. So let me stick my units on there. Sometimes I'm bad about units. Um, so now we know the width, and if we want to figure out the length, all we have to do is simply go back to this original equation that we came up with and simply plug in this value of 10.8, uh, 110.83 into it. So it says, well, then the length is going to be 35 times 110.83, again roughly, plus 10. So let me uh, let me do that one real quick. So 35 times 110.83. I'm getting that to be the number 3879.05. And then if we add another 10 to it, well, then we would get 38. 89.05. So it says the length is roughly equal to, again I'll put my little curvy equal sign that says approximately equal to. So it says the length is roughly equal to 3,889.05 feet. And again we said that the width was roughly equal to 110.83 feet. And now we know the dimensions. We now know the length and the width.